Well, one patient comes to mind is uh, Pam. Pam was a 35-year-old woman from West Virginia. When she was 16 years old, she had all of her upper teeth removed and she was given an upper denture. She came to me just begging for help. Uh, she had bone loss from wearing the denture and losing her teeth, and she was told she didn't have enough bone for dental implants. I was able to reconstruct her upper jaw, place implants. Dr. Catherine Mish then fabricated fixed implant teeth, and they really looked just like they were her own teeth. It was such a, a physical and psychological transformation. She was really a new person. What was so uh, astounding is she said she looked in the mirror and began to cry because she saw that 16-year-old girl looking back at her. I'm Dr. Craig Mish. I'm an oral maxillofacial surgeon and a prosthodontist, and I own the practice Mish Implant Dentistry. I've been practicing for 36 years. Well, as they say, if you do what you love, you'll never work another day in your life. I love to treat patients. I love to do implant surgery. I love to see how implant dentistry can really change patients' lives. Uh, many of the patients that I treat say, Doc, it seems like you really enjoy what you do. And that's, that's the truth, I really do. Um, I love it when patients complete their treatment and they say, you know what, I'm so glad I came here. That was so much easier than I thought it was going to be. And I'll often joke, well, you can come back and have dental implants done anytime. Another patient that comes to mind is uh, Henry. Henry was a 95-year-old gentleman, and he had started wearing dentures when he was in his 40s. And with dentures, you lose bone over time. So Henry had lost so much bone in his lower jaw that his lower denture wouldn't, wouldn't remain stable. So Henry had difficulty eating and chewing. And he said at 95 years old, that's one of the things that I still enjoy that I'm able to do in life is eat and chew. Henry said no one would treat him because of his age. And I joked and said, Henry, I don't think you're too young for dental implants. And he laughed. Um, he did great with his implant surgery, no problems at all. Uh, we were able to place implants in his lower jaw. Uh, Dr. Catherine Mish fabricated a new set of teeth for him, including a uh, lower implant overdenture that was secured by the implants. Henry was, was thrilled with the result. He said it was the best money he ever spent, worth every penny. He was able to go out and socialize again. He was able to eat and chew. Um, it was, really had a dramatic effect on someone that many people thought was too old for dental implants. Well, growing up, I was very artistic. I loved to draw and also had a great interest in the sciences. Both my older brothers went into dentistry and I realized that was a field where I could utilize my artistic skills and my love of science. So I went to the University of Michigan. I graduated in 1985 at the top of my class, and then I left the dental school and joined my oldest brother in private practice. I realized quite early that if I wanted to advance my skills and knowledge about dental implants, I was gonna to have to go back and specialize. I went to the University of Pittsburgh, uh, and I did a specialty in prosthodontics. That's the specialty of replacing missing teeth. After two year residency there, I also obtained a master in dental sciences for my research in dental implants. Um, thereafter, I did a one year fellowship in implant surgery and I stayed on and I became co-director of the implant center at the University of Pittsburgh. As an assistant professor, I taught in the postgraduate department of implant dentistry. I did that for about three years. Then I realized that I had a great interest in bone grafting and reconstructive surgery. So I went back and did another residency in oral maxillofacial surgery, and I completed that in 1999. There's a saying that I always use, it's do it right the first time. Um, if you need to have a surgical procedure, it's in your, your best interest to research the top surgeon in your area that does that particular procedure. If you look at a general dentist, a general dentist is more of a jack of all trades. Some general dentists may be proficient at doing implants, but what if something goes wrong? What if your case ends up being a little bit more complex than anticipated? That's why you wanna be under the care of a specialist. For instance, if I needed a heart valve replaced, I'm gonna to go to the doctor that does a heart valve replacement every day. Um, you become more skilled and more proficient if that's all you do all the time. I do bone grafting and implant surgery all day, every day. That's what I do. We often compare our office to the TV show Botched. It's about two plastic surgeons in California that do try and fix up mistakes that were performed by other doctors. And I can tell you one thing, when it comes to dental implant surgery, you don't want to get botched. First of all, you need to determine if you're seeing a general dentist or you're seeing a dental specialist. I find that many patients are confused with this. They'll often come to me and say, well, I already saw a dental implant specialist. And they'll tell me who it is and 
Turns out it's a general dentist that does implants. Realize that any dentist can do dental implants. They can take a weekend course. They can open their office Monday morning and start doing implant surgery. Um, a dental implant specialist, however, the training is different. It's a full-time program in a focused area of dentistry. It takes at least three to six years to become a specialist, and that's after dental school. I went through seven years of training after dental school. I did two specialties, one in oral maxillofacial surgery and the other in prosthodontics. Oral surgeons and periodontists are specialists in implant surgery. A prosthodontist is a specialist in fabricating implant teeth. Another question that I think it's important to ask is, are you board certified in any area of dentistry? Now realize that all dentists must go through a basic dental board exam to be able to practice in a state. However, board certification for a specialist is different. Not all specialists are board certified. It requires going through a very rigorous oral and written examination. I have two board certifications. I'm board certified in oral maxillofacial surgery, and I'm board certified in implant dentistry. I think the last thing you could do is do a Google search of the dentist. You can look at their reviews. You can see if they have any professional affiliations. You can even see if they have any discipline from the board of dentistry. I think it's important that a patient does their research. If something doesn't sound or feel right, get a second opinion. When you call Mission Implant Dentistry, your first point of interaction is going to be with our front desk staff. They've been with me for a long time, so they're able to answer many preliminary questions. They can tell you about our office, and they can even answer some questions about implant treatment. Uh, they'll typically schedule a consultation, and at that appointment, we'll do a thorough examination. We'll obtain any radiographs that we need to diagnose your condition. We'll then discuss the findings, and we'll talk about all the different treatment alternatives that are available to you. In most cases, we can present a preliminary treatment plan, and that includes the steps involved, the healing times, and give you an estimated cost. We never pressure patients here to undergo treatment. We simply um, will provide information and allow you to make an educated decision on what's best for you. A common complaint about implant treatment for patients is they have to travel between multiple offices to see different doctors. What sets us apart is we perform comprehensive start to finish treatment performed by specialists in one office. This gives us greater control of the process and also it kind of streamlines the, the treatment, if you will. There's a saying that we have mission plan dentistry for all your implant needs under one roof.